Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of New Hope Art Gallery's Feature Artist Series. And today we have the multi-talented and very young man who's very quiet and shy, so bear with him, yeah, right. Daryl Hughes. And Daryl is a wonderful friend. He gave me my very first show, Jack and Daryl did. And so Daryl and Jack have been showing with us. Jack's going to have his own video, folks, so don't miss out on that as well. And so, welcome, Daryl Hughes. How, How are you? Rick? How you doing? I'm Good. Well. You want to? Would you like to talk about yourself, Daryl? Well, you know, <laughs> I, I think this is a great idea that you know what the new home for New Hope and uh, uh, all the art that is being shown. Uh, I'm glad to be a participant and working with Ricky with uh, providing this visibility and. Uh, I think that this is going to grow into something like uh, we won't really expect it to be, and uh, kind of gift yeah, from what it started hopefully, with. <laughs> hopefully, with yeah. with with, with uh, the progress that it's making so far, we can see it only getting to be better. Yeah, yeah. It started very small, fifteen spots of art in the training school, and now we have oh two floors and three hundred and fifty pieces. So, All right, look at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, well, tell us, um, so now what you work primarily what? what John? Uh, my, my medium is mostly acrylics. I do mostly acrylics, and uh, like I say, my subjects vary mm -hmm. from whatever it is that inspires me. Whatever appeals me. to you. Yeah, and uh, uh, I, I like doing portraits, and I like doing scenes of everyday life of what we're experiencing right now. Yeah. For example, this is an idea of... Okay. Of just a portrait that started from something that was like an abstract, and then I turned it into my own rendition it, of a portrait. Oh, okay. So it's it started that it started as an abstract. Yes, it was really. an abstract piece. And, and so, then, what did you just do a cover over and start again, or you just kind well, of? Well, actually, I did the form, and then I would, I remember discussing with Jack. I said, Jack, I'm gonna make an African American <laughs> because she was an abstract lady initially, and yeah. then I kind of narrowed her down. And this is what the end result ended up being. Isn't that funny how you start? I do that all the time. I yeah. start on something, and and as we were discussing earlier with JP, the painting talks to me. It would really. I'm it, not crazy. No, it really it was like it. an abstract in the vein of what Picasso did. Oh, okay. Like the eye was up here, and the, you yeah. Know, and then this is what. And she ended up with she, her eyes in the right place. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know I just added the the the, the braids and the other. Necklace and all the rest of that stuff, but the form of the abstract had that elongated neck, uh -huh. and then her face was like that, and I kind of shaped it up to make it, you know, my own, and instead of just totally copying that abstract. Yeah, nice, very nice, Thank very you. nice. Thank you. And now we have another piece here as well. Yeah, this is another abstract, which actually was from a, an, a, a class art assignment, and this is done on bounty paper top. Really? Yes. And that's acrylic. What I did is I sort of like uh, uh, gessoed it and then came up with the form and came up with the color palette. So once it dried, it sort of stiffened right. up and you could paint right on it. Well, once I uh, gessoed it, it stiffened it, which made the surface easier for the, the, uh, the paint not to, you know... Uh, Oh, so bleed. to seep and bleed it out. Right, okay. to bleed because, you know, the bounty is absorbed. It's the quicker picker up. It is the quicker <laughs> picker. It, it did a very good job quicker pickering up that image. So what you said, basically you painted that on the counter and then laid the paper towel on top right, of it. Right, and then it, and just, it soaked just in perfectly within, perfect, within you know, the lines exactly. and everything. That's, you got that's it. very you nice. Got so, it. I would never guess that that was on paper <laughs> towel. I was figuring it was maybe canvas board, but. It's actually bounty yeah. paper towel. Well, that's towel. maybe a new a new trend that yeah. you'll have to start doing. Very inexpensive. <laughs> very, very inexpensive, absolutely. And, and, and this is so another this one is... that was done really the same year that I moved to New England. Okay. Actually evacuated to New England. It evacuated. He was, th he was not thrown out, folks. Yes. It came up here with Katrina. And then I moved to uh, Taunton in 2007, where uh, I, 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 along with my partner, we started a small gallery called Hughes Donahue. And this is from that 
year that I moved to Massachusetts, one oh, of okay, my Okay, because I don't ever remember seeing this piece before. I must have in my travels there yeah, then. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think I've ever shown... I think I may have shown it once before at, at our gallery. Yeah. And this is the other uh, uh, place that I decided to kind of... Uh, to show it. Uh, yeah, show so it. everybody loves it. It's, a, it's like a real striking piece. Yeah, I, 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 um, I, I like it, and I, I think I can sort of like modify it to kind of make the color pop a little bit. I, I'd like to maybe maybe change the matting, but I haven't done that yet because you was rushing me to make sure that I get I, something. I am always <laughs> pushing. I'm pushy, pushy, pushy. You're well, we're, we're, we're going bigger here, so okay. I've sort of been on this torturing right, right. people over you big, want, big, big because we have a lot of big spaces. Right. So. You wanted that scale to be changed. We so wanted the scale to be changed. The, changed so the scale. I'm, I'm known for just torturing people yes, till they exactly. just do what I want to shut me up, basically. Um, so now talk a little bit more about your gallery that you have. Well, we have a small gallery that, which is actually a converted garage, and mm -hmm. we opened in 2007, and the name of the gallery is Hughes Donahue, and we're seasonal where we open up around May, and then we kind of... So usually about season, November? This around is, October, <clears throat> November, yeah. and we usually host a craft exhibit which we didn't do this year because I have some other things that I'm juggling right now. Uh, you are in school. I'm in school. Yes, so you're very busy. And I really busy. wasn't going to have the time to coordinate it and do it. So hopefully next year uh, we have an idea of expanding the operation to where we can go beyond operating seasonal and we can open as a, Into as a, a new spot. full operating <laughs> art gallery with a grand opening that hopefully take place in 2016. That's very, that's a nice, that's a, a good thought. I think it's going to happen. Um, you've given so many people a start. I mean, I know I had my very first show with you. We met a mutual friend right, that, Drew, Drew Ruth Dealey, that she's an alumni of RISD. An alumni of RISD, and she made it seem like she was good friends with you <laughs> and sent me packing on my way up there, and I, like a dummy, believed her. And well, she must have foreseen that we was going to have this connection, and look how far we've come. And I remember, I remember when I first met you, or the first piece I pulled out, Jack said to me, oh my God, you use glitter glue. I love glitter glue. And I knew it was, I knew it was, oh, I was in. I knew that I was, in, I was going to make it past the jury. Yeah, because I, we haven't ran into many people who use your glitter. No, I'm known for my glitter glue. So, but I you like guys, your glue are, and your colorfulness. Exactly. Well, I'm known for, I'm pretty colorful, but no, that was part of the thought even when, when I started my, the, you know, the gallery when I started, it was at the training school and it was very small, but that was part of the thought behind it was what you guys were kind of doing because, you know, there was nobody doing, you know, you were opening a gallery space to everybody. Right, it wasn't right, about, right, right. We, you know. We, we wasn't being selective about what we were showing. You we wanted to wanted give to everybody an opportunity to show. and then yeah. won't kind of move into the realm of pornography but <laughs> yeah well yeah no we well you but nudity we no, the word nudity. excuse me he meant nudity folks yes, not nudity, yeah. that other word that we used yeah. but no and that's you know obviously they have a private space so they can show some nudity we do not show nudity at right. this location exactly. because it isn't a, a public building exactly. and so we stay away from all of those life types of life drawings. <laughs> the life drawings, we don't do that. We do everything else, but everything we have a really amazing, drawing. yeah. And actually, I'm realizing you have, a, let's go downstairs because you have one piece downstairs as well, which is like okay. the, I can't remember what it is, but it's very nice. Go ahead, I'll follow okay. you. And then Jack's going to be right after Gerald. He's got some watercolors downstairs as well. This is our our nice, and I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to trip down the stairs, but Please, this is our me. new. Uh, area that we just opened this show. This is our second show here. Um, we had a show in um, August, and this is a holiday show that opened in, in November. So we are still doing shows every four months. Um, and then again, here is our one of our talented assistant curators, David Kokel, who is here and helpful and always doing. And this is the this other is piece, piece here. That, that I love this done piece. This year, and uh, I think it was inspired from something that an image that I saw in the New York Times, and I kind of just did my own color scheme with it. And this this is what came out of that. 
And I, I titled it Fertility because actually this is a baby. Uh, and it's like in a pedestal form. Okay, and that would be like, you up. could take it as oh, either yeah, I can see that a now. man I should get or, 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 you know, holding the baby like in a crouch position. Yeah. And that's the child. Very, very nice. And, it, it, you know, it just has a nice holiday theme to it with the colors. Perfect time of the year. Good. Very nice. Well, um, thank you for joining us, Daryl. And well, I'm shocked you. to say that you have had one of our shortest videos ever. So <laughs> we no longer can talk about how you talk too much. <laughs> so this is the I'm going on film as saying I will no longer tease Daryl about his... How, how friendly and talkative he is because yes. he's now yes. broken records as having a short video. So thanks for joining us, and we're going to have a lot more videos coming up of all of our, our artists, and thanks for joining us, folks. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Why, how much, how long was it? I don't usually ask this of a gentleman, but how it's, long was it's it? It's still recording. Oh, and I'm talking. <laughs>